Father of two teenagers who planned a pool party at the Summit Waves Water Park in Lee Summit now considering legal action. The family calls the last minute cancellation by the city racial profiling and discrimination. Our reporter Megan Abundas has stayed on top of this story since the very beginning and she talked with the family today. We seriously doubt that they are regularly canceling rentals for 250 guests. The Evans family and their attorneys lined up to address the city of Lee Summit's claims on the cancellation. My family was racially profiled and discriminated against. My kids were heartbroken that the party was canceled. They are good kids who make good grades, have bright futures, and do not deserve to be treated like this. After a signed contract prepaying $2,000, the party didn't happen. The family says a pool employee told them their event did not represent Summit Waves. What are you scared of, Lee Summit? Why are you uncomfortable? A Lee Summit spokesperson said the event had been canceled over violations in their rental agreement, safety concerns, and the number of people they say plan to show up. The contract stated it would be less than 250. Zero people were there when the party was canceled. That's Hold what on. it is. If it was a large group of white folks walking up, it wouldn't be a problem. So not representative. Before the private party, the city posted on social media, tickets were sold out for the day for public access. Hours later, the city claims police counted 500 people in the parking lot. You got 500 people that you claim, oh, can I get in and come to your cold water park? 500 people over here, 600 people over here. Park closes at 7, party starts at 7.30. By my math, if you're sold out, it should be at least 1,100, 1,000 people out there. How did you count 500? How did you distinguish the guests intermixing? The city claims they tried to contact the Evans family. Lee Summit says it made multiple attempts to contact us about concerns before the event. However, the employee called my business line on a non-business day that doesn't get checked on the weekends. The mayor of Lee Summit weighed in Tuesday morning. Unfortunately, statements were made that were inappropriate and insensitive. We must intentionally embrace a culture that is welcoming, inclusive, and continually denounce any urge or impulse to exclude. My family has to be okay. Other black families have to be okay. Evans wants the city of Lee Summit to address the hiring, training, and development of all employees. I reached out to the city about all of these claims today and have not heard back. In Kansas City, I'm Megan Abundas, KSHB 41 News.